Hey everybody, welcome to Train Enable, where normally we help you become fit, happy, and confident through custom tailored workouts. But we're doing something a little different today. My name's Kyle, and we're gonna be going through the CrossFit 2021 Open Workouts. So it's Thursday afternoon, 21.1 is going to be announced in a few hours. I have to head into the gym and do it right after the announcement as I'm going out of town this weekend. So there's gonna be uh, some lead up to that, a little bit of B-roll cinematography stuff. And then I'm gonna actually show you how I did on the workout and talk a little bit about strategy. So if you wanna see how I did, kind of just check out what we do on the channel or see future strategies when it comes to 21.2, 21.3 for the CrossFit Open. Make sure that you hit subscribe, like, comment, and share, and let's get into it. Alrighty, y'all, we are in the car on the way to the gym. It's 7.38 p.m. Eastern time. CrossFit is late with the announcement, so we still don't know what the hell we're doing, but that's okay because it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're gonna work hard, get sweaty, and not die. But when we get there, we'll check in with y'all. We'll put the warm up on the screen so you can uh, borrow it for your own workout if you'd like. And yeah, let's get it, y'all. The double letter. The second movement has never been in an open or any of our other competitions. Ladies and gentlemen, I gleefully give you the wall walk. What? That's interesting. <laughs> That's not what I expected. 21.1 is one wall walk, 10 double unders. Three wall walks, 30 double unders. Six wall walk, 60 double unders. Nine wall walks, 90 double unders. 15 wall walk, 150 double unders. All walks take forever. Finally, 21 wall walk, 210 double unders. Damn. 21.1 is for time. 21.1 has a 15 minute contact. Ooh, fuck. Welcome to the open and welcome to the crown pain that is 21.1. Weird. Wall walks? Weird. All right, guys, here's what you need. All right. The world. 13 minutes, 4 seconds, and first the air ball of Kyle came up short. She was in the final round of the double ups when he picked him with that gap. completely fucked. <laughs> I cannot feel my shoulders or my forearms. It was deceptively hard. And counting is even harder. I lost count a couple times on the double under. Um, yeah, make sure you know the standards. Make sure you know the rep scheme. Cause I thought I was going up by threes the whole time. But there's a weird jump from, what is it? Nine to 15? Yeah. And then 15 to 21. And I think that's intentional. Cause like that's the big separator 
but I'll show you the raw footage. It's not really gonna be much strategy, but I will tell you um, over the video where I kind of started to fall apart and like what was going through my head and all that. So have fun guys. And don't, wives, partners, whatever, don't walk in front of the camera <laughs> like me. That's fine. My bad. All righty, y'all. Here we are hitting 21.1. It's an interesting one. Um, I couldn't even tell you the last time I did a wall walk, let alone in an actual workout. So I think a lot of people are concerned about the amount of double unders that you're going to be doing. But in reality, if you have a decent grasp on double unders, you're going to be doing a lot more um, time wise on the wall walk and it is especially f uh, fatiguing to the shoulders so I tried to go kind of nice and steady throughout it's also tough because the ground is oh so comfortable when laying there but I tried to keep it moving one thing that I found helpful and that my wife actually told me before starting is to do the push-up from the knee and then start moving the feet rather than uh, going kind of into that straight, strict push-up because that'll just kind of prematurely fry your triceps. Some might call them triceps. Uh, but overall, it was a pretty good double under day. I lost count a couple times, as you'll see here later on in the video, if you stick around to watch all of it. Um, and I already kind of mentioned that earlier in the video. But here I'm on the round of six, I believe. And this is when I was like, uh-oh, these are going quick. One of the other things that um, I also heard was to keep your arms locked out and more straight. So that way you're not, you know, doing extra damage to them triceps because you're going to need them. I saw in the announcement uh, Pierce and Erermo were doing... Um, that kind of like belly flop. So once their hands made it back to the tape, boom, they were just dropping down. So I probably could have done a better job there, but I also don't feel like devastating my whole front side just for a workout. So I just finished up the set of six. So I'm on to 60 double unders here. And I believe this is the set where I lose count. Wah, wah, wah. It happens so it's also useful if you have the rep scheme in mind because I thought that we were going up by threes the whole time which would have been a very different workout so thankfully my wife was there to um, help me stay on track it's my first trip of the workout many more to come if you don't have double unders or they're kind of on and off I would highly suggest breaking them up sooner rather than later. So have your um, breaks kind of planned out. Don't just wait till you can't go anymore. And here you saw me asking, um, what the hell is the time? How many more double unders do I have to do? I'm just straight up confused. Don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> so now I'm on the round of nine, I believe. There I made the mistake of uh, moving the hands before both of my feet were off the ground, which is something that I consciously had to uh, keep mind of. I don't suggest doing the workout right after it's announced because you haven't had time to thoroughly read the standards, see what other people have done, kind of get strategy video and feedback from other people who have done it before you. Um, yeah, you don't get to digest the rep scheme and all that. So do as I say, not as I do. But as I already kind of explained as well, going out of town this weekend, so I had to get this one in and get out of there. I actually didn't even leave the gym until like 10, which totally not ideal, because I normally work out like 1 to 2 p.m. So this was a very different feel for me. Probably going to be a different feel for you unless you regularly do wall walks in your training as well. So here we're about to quarter of the way in 
third of the way in, sorry. See, counting, not my strong suit. Surprisingly, like my back started to kind of feel it because it's easy to overarch and have your core kind of loosey-goosey as you're walking up. So my core was actually more taxed than I anticipated as well. As I said prior to the warm up in this video, the wall walks just take so much time. They're so slow. And the more simple the workout generally, the more challenging it's gonna be. So here I am on the set of 90, I believe. I think I started doing everything in 30 increments here, or tried to at least. Obviously you just saw me trip there. For those of you that are still watching, you know, we're almost 12 minutes into this video, so you, you a real one, you're a champ, I appreciate you. Yeah, so as I tire, my hands drop lower and lower, which make it a little tough to get that rope all the way around because it drags too much on the floor. And I'm notorious for resting too much, especially during double unders because they just jack my heart rate so fast. I wouldn't say I'm the best double underer. -er. But we hang it in there. This is definitely a one and done for me. What's also interesting is like just the general format of the open this year. I think with all the introduction to the new divisions and whatnot, they're really gonna come out swinging as far as like what the actual workouts are. And I think um, in addition to that, having like this open for everybody and then the semi, what is it? Quarterfinals and semifinals. I think each stage is just going to get harder and harder, obviously, because they need to weed more people down. So this first stage is like kind of low skill grunt work, which terrifies me because it hurts a lot. So now I'm on the set of 15. And I was like, oh, that's a big jump from nine. I thought I was doing 12. Nope. Here I really started to slow down. You'll see. And I think um, Carrie Pierce also said in the announcement, like, go f only as fast as you can on those first couple rounds that it doesn't affect you in the latter rounds. I did not heed her warning. We just passed the halfway mark. And now I started doing the beached whale. Just chin resting on the floor. Hands not even on the ground anymore. Even just resting like that, my shoulders were still under tension. So the only way I could really kind of alleviate any pressure is, you know, putting my arms by my side. And then you gotta take a couple seconds to get set again. Was not a great feeling having to rest straight up on the floor. Um, but hey, we did what we could. And I know you're gonna do what you can too. It probably sounds shitty of me, but I was encouraged when Arermo didn't finish. So I was like, all right, I will also probably not finish. I got about six-ish minutes left. And you can see these rest times getting longer and longer. It's an interesting standard that they put up too. Because the, the weird handstand push-up standard they had a couple years was funky too. It was a lot of like math. And you got to measure from your wrist to your forearm and then three inches from that and all this crazy stuff. So I thought this was much more straightforward. You got 10 inches from the wall, lay down with your feet touching the wall and then put another piece of tape by your shoulder. Thought that was fine. I also tried to make it pretty blatant that I was making these reps here as far as like where my hands were. Cause they said in the, uh, 
workout description and rules that fingertips are okay. And this is my first time relying solely on video submission for judging. So I wanted to leave no room for doubt. Um, I don't ever want my reps to be interpreted as a, mm, that was kind of iffy. I want them to be clean. Coming up on uh, my last set of double unders here and my buddy Anthony, Anthony, if you're watching this, what's up? I uh, gave him my score and then my um, tie break time and he was like, wait, you did how many in your time left over? Like I did awful. <laughs> I was like, oh man, I couldn't feel my arms, bro. You gotta give me some, give me some slack. But I'm sure he's gonna crush it. I'm sure you're gonna crush it too. Hopefully you're still hanging in with us here. Cause I know this is a long video. Um, if you're liking what you're hearing or you find this entertaining, remember we're gonna do two more videos like this and I'll have my shit together more cause I won't have to do it immediately after <laughs> the announcement. So see here, I'm trying to get some blood back in my arms. I think here I also try to do sets of 30. And I failed miserably, as you can see. You can see my wife's head in the corner taking video. She's the best. Um, all video actually taken in this whole thing was done by my wife. So I'll give her a nice golfer clap or like for Gina, likes for Gina, the new hashtag. We got three and a half minutes here. And I cannot feel my forearms either hanging on to the jump rope. So pretty much my arms are useless at this point. It was an odd sensation because usually I have to take a break because um, I'm just breathing so hard. But this time it was like I had to take a break because my arms just weren't working. <laughs> and this last set felt like I was just jumping rope for an eternity and a half. Those couplets where there's only two movements in the workout kind of gives you nowhere to hide. So you're either good at it and you stay moving or you're not good at it and you become a beached whale a lot, like I am. Um, if you don't see the blatant overlay of their logo, Wadproof is a great um, timing app that obviously combines video recording and timer. So if you do need to get your video verified for the open, because uh, you're maybe working out in your garage or you're not an affiliate anymore. It's a great option for you here. Here I'm wrapping up my last set. Five seconds to two minutes. Three, so I got two-ish two minutes. And you'll see that I only make it through. I'm sorry, I confused you. Not enough reps. <laughs> And I also start making the absolute weirdest noises in the world. Because like I was saying earlier, my back was just on fire. Shoulders were on fire. I knew I had to keep it moving, but every rep just takes so long. Let's count this next one and see how long each rep was taking me here. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, about six, -ish, seven seconds per rep. And I was like trying everything I could, going all the way. Some wife told me last minute here, and I was like, all right, you gotta fucking start moving here, champ. So now I have my, um, Class A driver's license because I am driving the struggle bus. I got 40 seconds and here I am just laying on my fat ass, wanting this to be over so bad. 30 seconds. So last 30 seconds here. 
Yeah, for whatever reason, too, my knees were like getting scraped to shit on the floor. I also did not feel all that great. But thanks for tuning in, y'all. Make sure that you come by next week to uh, see how I did. Kind of see the lead up, hear initial thoughts and strategies and whatnot. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, have fun, work hard, get sweaty, and don't die.